I'm sitting half on the northern hemisphere, half on the southern, right on the equator, in the middle of the country named after it, Ecuador. Malaysia conjures up images of sultans, tea plantations, and steamy jungles. From the Czech Republic to southern Poland, I'll be looking for traces of history, folklore, and my own personal roots. But it's a new old world here in the heart of Central Europe, and I'm expecting a few surprises along the way. Dominika is full of natural wonders, and one of them lives in that house. Her name is Ma Pampo, and she's apparently the oldest woman in the world. And I'm about to meet her. Hello, Ma Pampo. Hi. It's very nice to meet you. How old are you? 125. 125. Yeah. Do you ever watch television? No, my ma, I don't, I, I don't even know it. You don't know it? <laughs> That's the secret right there. Hey, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. OK, thank mm -hmm. you. Krishna, what are you doing tomorrow? I do the chariot. You're, you're pulling the chariot. So you're putting this hook in your body, and then you're putting a rope through here, this rope, and then you're attaching this to the chariot, and then you're pulling the chariot. Aren't you scared? <laughs> Timbuktu was founded in the 12th century by Tuareg nomads operating the salt trade from the north. Bonjour. Ça va, ça va. It used to be that it was yeah. the same value as gold. Yes. Half a million penguins live here from September to March, and they always come back to the same nest and they mate for life. But the best thing about the penguin is how they walk. I had no idea that they were going to be so big. Weighing up to half a ton and stretching close to eight feet in length, the leatherback is the largest turtle in the sea. It's also one of the oldest species on the planet. It's been here since the time of the dinosaurs. No wonder the leatherback turtle is nicknamed the ancient mariner. She has absolutely no idea that I'm here. She is in a trance. See, they're a little bit nervous. And we're very, very close. Which makes me a little nervous, too. Yeah. You all right? Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Just be okay. Just be <laughs> Woo! OK. I think I've had my ostrich experience. One takir damani. One takir damani. One do miradasani. OK, now we'll do. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> I'm freezing, I'm soaking wet, and my butt hurts. And I'm having a great time. This is a great room, but it's too hot to sleep in here at night, so I chose to sleep outside. But it is amazing what you can do with mud, isn't it? I mean, this is the bed frame, very sturdy, set in mattress. And then they've built in these little mud benches with mud tiles. And there's some nice windows carved out of the mud walls. Little delicate. And the roof is very typical African construction of thatch. This was one of the tallest trees in this grove. It was 1,600 years old, and it grew to be two feet taller than Niagara Falls. And when the tree died in 1991, no one saw it fall, but the impact was so strong that it registered 2.0 on the Richter scale.
Nuremberg also gives its name to the Nuremberg Racial Laws of 1935, based on the doctrine of Aryan superiority. These laws, among other things, stripped Jews and gypsies of their citizenship, forbade them to intermarry with Gentiles, and later the Nazis used these laws to justify their extermination of six million Jews and several hundred thousand gypsies. Mm -hmm. Traveling is really all about the people you meet along the way, so thank you all very much. Cheers. Mexican men and women have traditionally used mariachi bands as accomplices in their courtship and seductions. And the Plaza Garibaldi is where Mexicans go to shop for their ideal band. stuff you drink? That is an African gombo tea. What? It's an African, yeah. Beer. We call it gombo tea. Gombo tea. Gombo tea. Um. Yeah. Um gombo tea. Um gombo tea. Another jungle potion. Chicha is a social drink made from yucca, a root vegetable, and liquefied with human spittle. I had read about a strange custom in the city, something men do on a regular basis to protect themselves from disease. It involves the mixing of snake blood with alcohol. Oh my God, you're killing it? Oh. Okay. Well, All right. Have okay. Okay, I'll take a little sip. But if I smell it. <laughs> Woo! That's strong! It's good, though. The Aussies have come up with their own kind of cuisine called Mod Oz, which combines Asian and European styles of cooking with indigenous ingredients, such as crocodile tail, marinated in kiwi to tenderize it, emu, minced, and kangaroo. Now, I'm being very sensitive to the fact that I am eating Australia's national animal. The coat of arms in Australia is kangaroo on one side, emu on the other. Kind of like that. Sure, I'd love to try one. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, it's like, it's like chemicals. <laughs> I just ate a beetle. I just can't believe I ate a beetle. Have you ever been rescued? No, but I'm sort of thinking I, I wouldn't mind being rescued. <laughs> I'm going to swim badly now, just right over there. Yeah. We're watching. Do you reckon she's in trouble? Nah. Well, let's go anyway, eh? All right. Good, all the water's out. Ready to go back in again now. Yeah? I think I might need some milk now. Yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> this if is chipping. Yeah, this is chipping. Okay. At the chipping, really. Oh, chipping. You know, some people get tired, so you you just chip. Chip, okay? You walk. Chip. You chip. What am I doing? Be honest. Right? You are doing good. So this is chipping. Yeah. I'm chipping. Yes, you are chipping. I'm whining. I'm whining. I'm chipping. Yes. I'm whining. You got it. I'm chipping. Woo! I'm doing it. Yeah. So this is chain mail. This is chain mail. Wow, it's heavy, isn't it? Oh, would you like to try some on? Oh, I'd love to try on some chain mail. Oh, my goodness gracious, this is very heavy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel sexy? <laughs> I don't feel sexy at all. Normally, we wore our uniform. Right, but when no one was looking, you, <laughs> all, you all took off your uniform. I took a shot. Yes. Really? <laughs> San Francisco's a great place to get around on a bike if you're an Olympic champion. But there's an upside to this, and that's the downside.
A lot of people think that I have a dream job. <coughs> and they're right, I do. Probably the question I get asked the most is, did that really happen? Yes, it usually did. There's no hair, there's no makeup, there's no wardrobe. It's a bit too early in the morning to laugh at my pajamas. It really is the experience of traveling, and the experience of traveling is the unpredictable. That's what makes Lonely Planet so special.